DJ, an awesome poet. He's a professional sculptor. And you can find his work across the world. And um, Jay has um, several published collections. Um, one of the first collections that I received of his was Dark and Light. He has a new collection out now called Model Home, which um, is a great collection as well. I know, I know. Jay is, 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 is his sculpture's resurrection. Resurrection. It's going to be a resurrection. So I was drawn to this piece. We were sent photographs of all of, of Elaine's collection in this show, and this is the piece that um, spoke to me the loudest and insisted that I write about it. I am a liturgical artist, so naturally I was drawn to resurrection. And I was immediately taken to the, uh, in the New Testament, the early resurrection, which is Lazarus and that story, and everyone knows the end of the story, Jesus comes to the village and he raises Lazarus from the dead. But the earlier part of that story may be a little less familiar. Lazarus' relatives come to Jesus and ask him to come while Lazarus is still alive and heal him. And he declines and he declines and says, oh, I'll come later. And that's what this poem is about. Resurrection. I, Lazarus, had laid a fearsome burden upon a limestone slab and seen it buried. After urgent prayers went unheard and no fine and saintly savior could be hurried. You raise a fever when you raise the dead, resting cold and gray as any stones, to lift the weight of what was once ahead, to balance it top those chalky bones is to perform a feat herculean, to hoist a leaden mast with death imbued, to reanimate a bygone life unduly, then to call it back from well-earned quietude. Now, all for some display of God empirical, I am forced to live this monstrous miracle.